Many thanks for rejoining us again. And if you just joined us, the program is still good morning, Abuja, and it is coming to you from the Unity Station NTA Channel 5. Now is that time again on the program where we'll bring to you uh, the situation on our roads as it happens. And this morning, we are going to talk about pre tree preparations for the yearly time. And we have Unit Head of Operations, Central Business Dis District, uh, CRC Sylvanus Epeon, to talk to us on that. Sylvanus, you're welcome to the program. Thank welcome you. to yes. Good Morning, Abuja. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. Uh, we know we are all ready for the celebrations, and we know you and your men, you are on duty. Prepared. For the Two, four, bed. seven. Yes. <laughs> so before we talk about mm. uh, the pre-trip preparations, give us the overview situations on the road, at uh, regards accidents, is it free? Just give us the overview situation on the road. Well, the, um, the situation on the road these days is a, a bit um, calm. Okay. The crash has been drastically reduced, especially in the city center, okay. where we are where we covered. We have not have any incidents of uh, multiple crash. During this, uh, the during the week under review, um, the system they call is trying their best okay. to make sure things are working well. Okay. Yesterday, the commercial and the management team were at the Zuba Motor Park okay. to carry out public enlightenment to okay. tell people on the use of the roads and to obey traffic rules and regulations while making use of the roads. Right. And the extent is that uh, we want people to travel safe and come back safe without any problem. Okay. And if a crash must happen, it should not be injury, it should not be dead. Okay. All right. All right. With that, mm. let's come to overloading. You have tried your efforts to bring an end to overloading, both passengers mm. and the commodity, the, the loads the drivers carry. But it's still persisting. That means, are you not doing enough or what's happening? When it comes to overloading, mm -hmm. it's one of the things, you saw the theme for the Ember Month campaign flag of this year, when we started during the Ember Month, you know, Ember Month started from September, mm -hmm. which we have been amaring on from September till now, we are not relenting our efforts on the issue of overloading, because um, we know most of the major causes of road traffic crashes on the road these days is speeding and overloading. Mm -hmm. And you see most people, this is a period, that people are eager to travel mm, and they want yes. to get more money. Some of them, they did not even, um, they think that they will make money they had not made from January till now. Mm. And you see more passengers who want to travel. And you are carrying a small vehicle that carry maybe four passengers, three, in, three at the back and one in the front. And today you see a golf carrying two. Yes, because I know at the back. At the yeah. back. Mm -hmm. At times, some of them will even carry more than two in the front. Ooh, with, the, with, the with the driver's seat, yes, with the driver's they manage driver someone beside. Yes. Them. So that is why FRC is not relenting their effort in apprehending those offenders. Mm. Because um, we have gone into the motor parks, carry out public enlightenment. Mm -hmm. We have gone into the church and the mosque, carry out public enlightenment, in advising them on the danger of overloading. If you are carrying two passengers in front, and you as a driver, you, the, the, the effect on the, that vehicle will be more mm. on the passengers and on the on the passengers and you, your driver. If anything happens, your driver that you are hanging, you will not be able to have the control, control. of the vehicle. Mm. And if such thing happens, the life of the passengers mm -hmm. at that moment, you have, apart from God, is in your hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what happens if death does not occur? That is why we, we are hammering on overloading. Mm -hmm. And um, when once we are arrest people on overloading, either goods or passengers, mm -hmm. okay. we upload everybody and they will be kept aside. aside. We impound the vehicle in the office mm -hmm. and we okay. ask them to go through public enlightenment. Mm -hmm. We have a public enlightenment desk officer in the office. Mm -hmm. that when they come, we tell them the dangers mm -hmm. of carrying more than a normal passenger mm -hmm. you're supposed to carry in the vehicle. Okay. Which we have been doing. All right. So having addressed the issue of um, you know, taking two in front mm -hmm. and all that, you have told us what you do. This is bringing me to my next question. Mm -hmm. As we talk about pre-trip preparations for the yearly tide, I want you to address the issue of night 
uh, journey, okay. night traveling? And when it comes to night traveling, we advise people, the motorists, not to plan your journey in the night. Not, today, the country is not safe. When it comes to security, mm. it's not safe for you to travel in the night. And apart from traveling with security issue, mm. if you are traveling and you have a bus, they break down a, a flat tire on the road. Oh, oh. Most people, when they travel, they don't even have... That's why we talk about pre-trip. You don't check. Things are supposed to check in your vehicle. Yeah. You have a spare tire in the boots are not good. Maybe there's no air in your spare tire. And you didn't know. And you have already set on the journey. And you have a flat tire. And maybe in the middle of the night, in the bush, where there is no organizer, where there is nobody that will help you to change the tire. And you went to your boots to check if you can bring your spare tire that can take you to where you will be able to maybe in the daybreak. Mm. And unfortunately, you go to the, your, your boat to check the aspect tire, there is no air. What do you no, do? You become no. stranded. Mm. The life of the passengers, your life or your family you carry in the vehicle is a danger. Mm. And we also talk about some people travel in the night, which we are against you traveling in the night. If you are going, you have a, maybe a fuel station are close mm. and you don't have where to get fuel. Oh. What happened? And that's why right you see if people right now, people who want to buy fuel and in their jelly can and put in the boots. So travel with to travel with. Oh, wow. Especially they will say, ah, fuel in Abuja, uh, the cheaper than other places. Yeah, or it's... outside Abuja. Wow. And we advise people, please don't do that. It is very risky mm-hmm. to you, to the passengers, to the motorists, and other road users. The danger of carrying fuel at the boot of your vehicle is not to experience. Mm. Because if anything happens, that vehicle will cut bomb. And okay. what happened with the passengers and other road users, innocent road users mm-hmm. that might not be there. Yeah, so we advise them not to do that, not to go through night traveling. Mm. Night journey is not good. Mm. People should avoid it. Okay. Plan your journey. Mm. When you plan your journey, what do you need to check in your vehicle? Please check them. Some people, this period, some of them are planned to travel December. Christmas has come. From tomorrow now, you see people go to the road. You see yes. passengers on the road carrying bags of rice, clothes, everything they want to take. Travel, yes. Yams and everything. Celebrate. And they must take all of them. All, all of them from, from, from here. here. No, what Home. Happened? Somebody that the vehicle has been on ground, mm-hmm. maybe from January, have not used the vehicle. Now you just go to go and fix the some vehicle, things. take it to the road. Okay. You don't advise that. Please, before you move and join me, you have to take that vehicle to a qualified mechanic. Okay. A qualified, qualified, qualified one. one. Not oh. any mechanic. Okay. To a qualified mechanic to check. And don't just go and service your vehicle today and enter road tomorrow. Oh, okay. mm. Because yes. there must be something that might be yes. the problem might develop. Absolutely. So we are asked them to please go to a qualified mechanic to check. And if you must go with your family in the vehicle, if there are more than the number of people you are supposed to carry in the vehicle, please let the let the elderly one take another, take a public transport. Mm-hmm. You the know, whole fa- family must not be, not be in one, one vehicle. In the same vehicle. Oh. Supposing the family of nine, and you have a, a, a oh. vehicle that will just carry maybe four at the back mm-hmm. and one in the front, and you as a driver, and you know you are not going to be nine. Mm-hmm. And some of them want to, and you still want to carry loot, mm-hmm. bags of rice, mm-hmm. other things mm-hmm. that you take to the village. So we advise, please, you can way build those loads. Okay. Way build them. Go to the all these uh, transporters. Go and way build them. They are, they, are, they are fleet operators. We build them. When you get there, you collect them. And don't carry all your family in one vehicle. vehicle. Please let them, some of them, get another vehicle. So you can go with less passengers, less people. So that you will not overload your life. So, so in addition to oh, what uh, you just said, oh. uh, as we round up the program, just a little, little security uh, yes. on how to stay safe on the road. Okay. Um, on the issue of security tips oh. on the road, this oh. is a period that everybody wants to go on the road. Please, uh-huh. we advise people while traveling, be vigilant. Mm-hmm. Okay. You are, your lighting system must work. Okay. Okay. Your vehicle okay. must be in a good working condition. Okay. Please don't do anything that will make you to be stranded on the road. And please don't carry passengers on where you are not supposed to carry. 
<laughs> Most people you see on the road today that will flap you down mm-hmm. and not actually normal passengers. It could be a kidnapper yes. that are stopping on the road. Mm-hmm. And please, when they throw, maybe you are going on the road, somebody flap you down or throw mm-hmm. egg on the mm-hmm. windscreen mm-hmm. of your vehicle, please don't mm-hmm. use your wiper. Because if you use wiper, the egg will cover up, you will not be able to see. You will be there, you will not be able to see mm. uh, front. So please just manage it to where you can find people or security or maybe police checkpoint mm. and then come down and use your water to clean your yeah. vehicle mm. for your safety yeah. on the road. You are, please, we ask you to obey both travel rules and regulations mm. and avoid overloading, avoid speeding. Yes. We wish you well and we wish you safe trip. Right. Thank you so much. Merry <laughs> Christmas and well, advice. Merry Christmas and advice. <laughs> so, this advice. Yeah, advice. Yeah, you are appealing I'm now. Because you are in it for the first time, <laughs> yes. don't use when they use an egg, egg on the screen. Yeah, it happens. Ah. It happens. Thank it's you so much for giving us ah. the tips. All right. And you have heard it all from the unit head of operations, CBD. The advice he gave us this morning as we prepare for the yearly type. Please let's ensure we adhere to that advice.